Let's play a video game called Real Life, or at least basketball learning to dribble version, Jersey Drills. Let's start with level zero. Anna, pretend like you can't dribble at all. Exactly, all of us started that way. I don't care if you're Michael Jordan, Rebecca Lobo, nobody lear started learning to dribble, you learn little by little. So let's do level one. Peter's gonna join us too. They're both better dribblers than me. You can dribble right hand, 10 dribbles. Ready, go. This is level one. Just 10 dribbles. Once you're done, switch to the left. Whatever we do with one hand, we do with the other, so we build them both at the same time. This is level one. When you got 10, stop. All right, level two, we're gonna make it a little bit tougher. Start with the right hand, left hand behind the back, and to make it even more challenging, you can't look at the ball. So we're gonna blindfold you. Level two, once you get the blindfold, you gotta do 10 dribbles without stopping. And go. One. Once you finish the right, always do the left. You never want to look up. Why you want to look at the ball? You're going to miss the defense. Your teammates can be wide open. You're always looking up when you dribble. That's level two. Level three is about where you're going to dribble. Peter, go ahead and start dribbling. Now, if you dribble too high, what's going to happen is somebody's going to steal the ball. So what do we got to do? We want to dribble low. So Anna, give me 10 low drills, super low. Shoulders back, shoulders back a little bit more. Good. And when you do 10 on one side, do 10 on the other. So level three is just low dribbles, low dribbles. Okay, now level four, Peter go get the ball, is high dribbles but fast. High dribbles but super fast. We'll do them both at the same time. 10 fast dribbles but high. Ready, go. Good. And left, if you do right, always do left. Which one you do first, doesn't matter. I like to start with my weakest hand and get stronger. So level three is low dribbles, level four is 10 high dribbles, and level five is where you're gonna combine them, but we'll bring the blindfolds back here, and you're gonna do five low, five high, switch five low, five high, fast as you can. Ready, go. As you get more and more comfortable, don't worry about looking. Your brain knows where the ball is. Well, most of the time. How do we do it? And that's how we play the games. You can redo it. That's what's great about the Jersey drills. You just keep doing the drill over and over until it gets comfortable. So one more time. High. You're in the right spot. High dribbles, low dribbles. As you go watch the drills over and over. Now there's gonna be two versions of this video, the teaching version and the pure music version. So as you go through the teaching version a couple times, like I got it, I just wanna do the drill, put on the music version and just listen to the music and doing the drills over and over. We're now completed level five. Welcome back to Jersey Drills, level six through 10. Keep those comments coming. We appreciate the feedback, how we can make them better. Now coaches can use these drills to encourage people to earn jerseys. Now we're in Jersey as we're filming this, but as a coach you can say, hey, I'm gonna give incentive. Every player that reaches a certain level, highest level, you're gonna get incentives. Maybe it's jerseys, maybe it's a ball, it's up to each coach. Level six, speed dribbles. So start with the left hand, low, eyes up, and 10 super fast dribbles, and then switch to the right. Go ahead. You wanna, the faster you dribble, the more control you have. We keep practicing those speed dribbles. Level seven is ball around the body. So ball just around the body. This is really hard at first, especially when you're little, but as you get bigger, and you can begin to move around, walk around while you do it, forward, backward, be as creative as you want. Try to do 10. As you get stronger, you can do more. Ball around. This is a great one when you're waiting to go in the game. Just boon it high, low. It's level seven. Level eight is gonna be power dribbling. So you're gonna do medium height, shoulders back, and I want you to pound the ball as hard as you can. 10 and then switch. Doesn't matter which hand, go. Don't worry, you're not gonna break the cement. The ball's not gonna pop. Controlling it. Now you notice how they do not have the ball on the palm, just off the palm, and you're not slapping it at the ball. Good. Now as we're more comfortable with the ball, do a little bit of a crossover. So on the start us out, just very simple crossovers, shoulder length apart, simple crossover. Any tips on how to do these well? When you... You want to pass it to the foot on your left, so instead of having to find the ball when you cross over, it comes right to your hand. Like Excellent. All right, let's both do level nine, just really simple shoulder length crossovers. So I'll try to do 10 of those, 
And as you get more comfortable, you're looking up, not looking at the ball anymore. Your brain knows where the ball is. The ball's coming right back to you. If you're chasing the ball, then you're not sending it to the right spot. All right, level 10, so we're gonna do super wide crossovers. Peter, give us a demo. What's the key to doing these? Bouncing the ball to your other foot. Not in the middle, but your other foot. So like in a pass, what does that mean? You make it two thirds of the way there, not so halfway. Give me an example. So instead of going here, halfway, it doesn't reach them. You hit it two thirds of the way. Excellent. All right, double wide crossovers, both of you. That's level 10. Try to look up, don't look at the ball. You're gonna fake out your opponent, break some ankles. That's level 10. Welcome back to Jersey Drills, levels 11 through 15. Let's start with why do we always have to keep our heads up when we're dribbling? There's at least four reasons why you always want your head up, never look at the ball. Anna, give me one reason. Because you don't, if there's an opponent up there, you don't want to be looking at the ball because they could just steal it. Without Very you. good, so the defense could steal the ball. Peter, give me another one. You want to be able to uh, see your teammates when they're open. Very good, so if they're breaking across the lane and you're looking up, that's really frustrating. We've all been there, I'm wide open, but they didn't see you. So one, you'll be able to cut, but you've got to always keep your eyes up. All right, level 11 is get another ball. It's going to be two ball drills. Uh, these are fantastic for building your hand-eye coordination. So we're going to do 10 regular dribbles, but two balls at the same time. Ready, go. Looking up as much as you can. At first it's hard, and it gets easier and easier. Excellent. Those two ball drills are fantastic. All right, put one ball away. Now level 12 is gonna be how do you put little spins on the ball? So for example, think of it like opening a jar of pickles. You spin your hand while you dribble, spin one way, then the other way. Let's do five each. Just do little spins. Ready, inside, outside. Ready, go. These little spins help you control the ball. It's gonna help with your layups, with your passing, with your dribble, and switch to the other hand. Inside, outside, inside, outside. That's level 12. All right. This is probably one of the best dribbling drills you can do of all the levels. It's power dribbling with two balls, eyes up. Ready? 10 super strong power dribble. Try, you're trying to pound the ball right through the pavement. Ready? Go. High, low, control it. Excellent. Power dribbling gives you that feel for the ball. So that's level 13, two ball power dribble. Now level 14 is two ball dribble, but alternating. So up and down, up and down. Ready, go. Alternating. So you're one more way to think about the ball. You can try to juggle it if you want. Very good. So that alternating is level 14. Level 15, we're gonna do something a little different. We need one ball for this. And we're gonna go from five fingers to four to three to two to one to back of the hand and back up. So start with your right hand and five ball, five dribble, five fingers. I'll go to four fingers, three fingers, two, one, zero. There is no zero. Back of your hand, back up to one finger, two, three, four, five. All right, other hand, same thing. Count it for yourself, five, four, three. Now some of these drills are silly, but they're working different muscles. Your brain's learning how to control the ball with different fingers, different spins, so that you can, in the middle of the game, make incredible moves without having to think about it because your brain knows how to make the ball move. That's level 15. Jersey Drill's level 16 is gonna be one hand crossovers. So one hand, Forward, sideways, doesn't matter. One hand crossovers, ready, go. One hand crossovers, five or six of them. Switch to the other hand. You're getting more comfortable. Keep your center of gravity low. Back and forth. Excellent, level 60. Level 17 is behind the back. Any way you wanna do behind the back. What was, what's the easiest way to do behind the back? Crossover. Let me see it. All right. And what's another way to do it? Like uh, mostly you would use this in games where you're going forward. So go and then push forward. All right. Let's see. Excellent. Let's see. Practice some behind the backs. Ready? Do about 10 behind the backs. Any way you want. Go. Very 
And remember, whatever you do one hand, do the other. So if you start with the left, then go to the right. Back and forth, back and forth, behind the back. That's level 17. Excellent. All right, level 18, every kid wants to try this, is between the legs. When you're really little, it's tough because you need a lot of room. What's the key to behind, between the legs? Uh, spreading your legs a lot and giving yourself a lot of room. So a lot of room. Let's give it a show. All right, Anna, between the legs. We actually have a video of Anna the very first time. She was like two years old trying to do between the legs, and the ball didn't fit. There just wasn't enough room for the ball to get through. It was so cute. All right, do about 10 between the legs any way you want. It's level 18 between the legs. Now, at first, you're in standing still, but little by little, you start to move around. Keep it nice and wide. All right. Now, once you start to get good at in between the legs, you can sort of walk while you do it. So instead of standing still like this. Good, excellent. So between the legs is level 18. Level 19 is called a side dribble. Now most kids, when you get up to the defense, you get up there and then they get, up, they get worried because the defense starting to guard them. Peter be my defensive guy. So they come down the court and the defense comes up and then they panic. They either pick the ball up or they dribble this way or they turn their back to their offense. So Anna, come over here. We're going to show the side dribble back up where Peter's going to come up on defense nice and slow and you're going to put left arm up and you're going to side dribble so he can't reach it and take one step back. Ready? Go. You're dribbling. Arm up. Excellent. So let's do about four or five side dribbles. You go forward and back to your side. Ready? Go. That side dribble is a way for you to keep control. You still see the court and you're not giving up your position. But you got to practice that side dribble here up and back. That's level 19. That's side dribble. It's a little bit hard. You got to keep it down and stay low. Level 20, let's have a little fun. We're going to put it all together. When I say go, you're going to do some fancy dribble. And that means a little bit of everything. Crossover between the legs, hands, throw it behind your back. Some sweet Georgia Brown. Ready? Go. Just throw it up if you want. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Everybody having a little fun. Basketball is supposed to be fun. It's not about who's the best. That's a great game for everybody. Level 20 is just putting it all together. As you're waiting to get in the game, you're just kind of moving it around. That's level 16 through 20. Jersey Drills level 21. I'm not a star, but we want to keep making you a star at dribbling. So we're going to use the wall. The neighbor's going to love this one. Level 21 is just one hand against the wall. Try to do 10. One hand against the wall. Nice and close. You do it with one hand, you switch to the other. Make this a little bit tougher, take a half a step back. Now you have to do a little bit harder. So that's level 21, just one hand. Level 22, let's go to two balls. Two balls against the wall. Level 22 is two balls against the wall. Excellent. Keep practicing that. Now, level 23, same thing, but here come the blindfolds. Now, when you're doing this at home, you're doing this in your garage or the driveway, you're just doing your eyes closed. But for these guys, go ahead and put in your blindfolds and then see how many you can do. See if you can do 10 against the wall. The more you practice, the better you get. These are practices you can do with your friends. Invite a friend over and say, let's do different things. <laughs> That's hard to find the ball when your blindfold's on. So, Excellent. The further you are from the wall, the harder the drill becomes. Now, what are we working on here? Keeping the ball on your fingertips, off the palm of your hand, being more and more comfortable. That's level 23. All right, blindfolds off. Level 24 is you're going to dribble into a pass against the wall. Step back for a second. You're going to dribble. Imagine you have a teammate, and you're not going to go like this. You're going to dribble into the pass back to yourself. You're going to dribble back to yourself, dribble, back to yourself, dribble, into a pass, dribble, into a pass. Ready, go. Try to do 10, dribble into a pass. 
Don't wait, don't catch it, just dribble right from the dribble. Oh, wait like this. That's it, watch my hand, right from the dribble. That's it, right from the dribble. No catch and shoot, that's it. That's a hard one. Dribble, dribble, level 24. If you can pass right from the dribble into the movement, you save time and it's hard for the defense to keep up. Similarly, we want to do behind the back pass. We're going to get better and better at back behind the back passes. So this one, I'm going to have Peter demo, behind the back, to the wall, back to yourself. Go ahead and do a couple right, behind the back, to the wall, and as you get the hang of it, it's hard at first to get the right angle, but as you get better and better, you can start to move. If you can do right, you can do left, switch around. Everybody has a dominant hand, get better and better with the left. And then you could do different speeds, different energy. So in the middle of the game, you'll be able to make that quick pass without thinking about it. That's level 24. Jersey drills level 25. Now why are we doing all these dribbling drills? Why not something else? Rebounding, shooting, all of those other things, rebounding, boxing out, those are hard things to do on your own. You need to be with the team practicing the plays. Dribbling is one of the fastest things to get good at even on your own. So 25, we're gonna do a little bit of non-touching the ball dribbling. Guys, come on up over here. The first one, the 25 is just around the right ankle. 10, that's not the right way to do it. 10 over and over, ready, go. That's level 25, round and around. Now see if you can do, try to look up, not down. Excellent, level 26, switch to the left. 26, same thing. This is the kind of stance, the more low you are in the game, the harder it is for anybody to steal it and the more you can accelerate. Around the, on the knees, so you're gonna have to bend all the way. Ready, go. 28. Now we already did the middle, so 29, we're gonna do the head. So around the head, not so hard. And last level 29, mix it all up. Little sweet Georgia Brown, and you're gonna do a little bit of everything. Ready, go. That, this, then coming around. No right or wrong way to do it. Never look at the ball if you can help it. Your brain knows where it is. Level 29. Now the best drills are the ones you just make up yourself or with your friends. So make up anything you want, get you better and better. But for us, level 30 is bring the two balls back and now we bring in some movement. So we're gonna dribble two balls right in front of us around a couple easy cones or you can use chairs if you want. If you happen to have a hoop nearby, you just finish with a couple easy layups. All right, Anna, very good. Alternating her dribbles, excellent. No right or wrong way to do it. You're getting more comfortable. When you finish, got to validate if you can make that layup. Excellent. Now Peter's really pounding it nicely. That's hard to steal a ball when it's that low and that fast. Validate with a finish and a layup. Got an excellent left, right. That's level 30. Level 31 is the same as level 30, but instead of going straight, we're going to go sideways. So we're going to go back and forth between the cones, finish, make one layup to validate. Now why do you validate? Doesn't matter if you make a great play in dribbles, if you don't make the shot at the end, you don't get any points. And excellent. Never rush. Always in a hurry, but never rush. That last shot, take your time, finish to your spot. Excellent. That's level 31. Now level 32, same thing. If we did it this way, now do it this way. So start here, two all the way, and validate, finish with a layup. Excellent. Nice and low and hard. Nice left. So you could do this drill as many times as you want. You're getting more and more comfortable. You're doing it faster. You're not looking at the balls as you get better. And always try to finish with the layup. Perfect. That's level 32. Le level 33, same thing. Now it's backwards. Hard to go backwards, but we're getting more and more comfortable. Then turn around and make the shot from anywhere you want. 33. Excellent, once in a while you're gonna back them down. And finish, good. Anna's doing the same thing, she loves that alternating. Went back and forth, no hurry. Whenever you're ready, you let one ball go and put in for a shot. 
Fantastic. Level 34 is the hardest one now with double is you're going to work through the cones, but you have to go back and forth crossovers with the two balls and work your way through the cones, finish with one ball shot. Back and forth. That's it. Getting fancier and fancier, harder and harder. Losing the defense and put in for a good shot. This is level 34. Good. Kids are getting a chore pass for helping out here. They get out of Sunday chore for doing such a great job. It's level 34. Uh, you guys are getting really good at dribbling now. We're already up to level 35. And this one's not my shadow anymore. Come on out, sneaker. All right. Level 35 is called drop and catch. Get your feet really, really wide. And you're going to drop and catch. Drop and catch. Go ahead, Anna, see if you can do a couple. Just really getting better and better at your hand eye. As many as you can do. That's level 35. Level 36, Peter, come on out here with the chair and explain to us how level 36 works. You sit down on the edge of the chair and then spread your legs out and you basically just do a crossover under your legs. Just simple crossover. And then once you start getting more comfortable, you can pull the leg in. And do a crossover with the leg in. Out. And this is a great one to do when you're sitting waiting to go in the game, just killing some time. And getting better, that's level 36. Level 37, I'm gonna come on out and let's do a figure eight, but let's start with a rolling figure eight. So you're just making the number eight going in and out, nice and easy, a little bit faster. And start dribbling to figure eight. Peter, won't you join as well? Start dribbling to figure eight, no hurry. That's level 37, dribbling to figure eight. Good. And level 38 is spider. Anna, you wanna do the spider? That's a really hard one. So first, it helps to start out slow and then go a little faster. That's outstanding. That's the spider. Level 39, Peter's going to do drums. He'll explain it. And then level 40, we're actually going to bring in our camera guy, Andrew, who's a great guy and a fantastic athlete himself. But how's 39? How's the drums? So you sit down and spread your legs. You don't have enough room for both your arms and the ball. And you start out. Ooh, that's a tough one. All right, level 40, we're gonna put on some Harlem Globetrotters music and try to put it all together. You get to do anything you want. There's no right or wrong answer. Any dribbling, any moves you wish. Level 40, we got Andrew out here with us. Everybody just do whatever you want. Cue the Harlem Globetrotters music, a little spinning, a little dribbling, a little fancy, fancy moves. And no matter how fancy you're dribbling are, you still gotta score, so time to finish. You gotta finish. There goes one. There goes two, and Andrew's got the rebound, and it's in. That's a wrap, level 40.